Give me the loot. Tashanya Washington and Ty Hicks and the two New York taggers, you know, people who paint graffiti, who could set their sights on graffitiing or bombing, as they call it, the plastic apple that rises up from the grounds at City Field when the Mets hit a home run. It's sweary-tastic, naturalistic dialogue. Here's a bleeped clip. I'm boxing at work at Shea Stadium. You mean City Field where the Mets play at? City Field? I'm not calling it after some stupid bank. It's called Shea Stadium. And do you know the or not? Who? Who? Pedro or some yeah, yeah, Pedro, he works like a shade, like, off-game security when the Mets is out of town. Who cares, Pedro? the Mets, too. Yes, that's exactly what the I'm saying. So, look, this is what you're going to do. You're going to call Pedro. He's going to sneak us in. We're going to bomb that stupid-ass apple. Then when they get a home run, everybody going to see our names on that, right? And who's going to be on our Them queens, Yo, you crazy. No, I'm Bro, serious. No. That's what guy Yo, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yo, we're going to be so famous. So we're going to be legends. <laughs> Easy on the swears. Wow, that's cast-tastic. It is cast-tastic. Film over 30 days, $65,000, made for no money. The, 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 direct, the right director was somebody who served time at Prensing under Woody Allen. And it's an interesting thing because on the one hand, you get this kind of, the, the sort of, the inflections of Woody Allen dialogue, people talking to, talking over each other in a very naturalistic way, albeit in a completely different register to what you get in a Woody Allen film. On the other hand, you've got a little bit of the sort of the Spike Lee streetwise thing with the sweariness of Kevin Smith, you know, the kind of clerk sweariness of Kevin Smith thrown in for good measure. I mean, it's a... It, it's it's an interesting um, uh, sort of you know punky, uh, very low budget uh, feature. It's very loose limbed, very loose lipped, very sort of the the drama sort of ambles around. I mean, theoretically, what they're doing is they're spending the day going around attempting to raise the money that will enable them to bribe the security guard so they can get into the ground to do the tagging. But of course, that's really just a way of enabling them to play out this one, which is really about the two central characters. Who aren't a couple, but kind of are a couple, and 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 everything. And the funny thing is, everything they do, whether you know, whether it's like there's there's, the, there's like robbing and there's muggings and there's and there's stuff which. What's in the any, difference? Um, mm -hmm. that breaking, sorry, breaking, breaking and burgling, okay, or yeah, I find and and, and breaking, so all these things go on around them. But everything has a very kind of sort of incidental sort of slackery quality to it, and and in in some respects, it it's it's kind of it's quite gentle, despite the you know the the amount of bleeping that we had to do to the dialogue. Sixteen. There. Was it 16? 16. 16 of that one thing? Okay. Yeah. Well, that was then that was a, a well-chosen clip. Because there, that... there is another version of that, which is all the bleepy bits all st all put together. Okay. Will we be putting that on the web anytime by, soon? By mistake, probably. But it's, you know, it, it's, it's one of the things most impressive about it is now that you've got sort of lighter cameras and everything, it's possible to do, they, you're like, you've got these shots of them walking down streets in which the streets are full, the shots are taken from a long way away. I presume they're working on bug mics. And it's that thing that you can do now, which is that you can, you can shoot people in crowd scenes and they're right there in, in the huddle. And it's you know look it's it's flawed. Some of the acting's not great, but, and it you know in the end it doesn't add up to a whole bunch. But it's a good calling card, and it has a sort of naturalistic charm and swagger to it that, that was quite appealing.